a lot of people are up and down about this movie. A lot of people are saying bad things about it. A lot of people are saying good things about it. I don't know where to fall because I'm going to see like where the majority goes and then I'm just going to go with them. Just play it safe on this one. I, I have no skin in this game. Well, yeah, this is like I said in the previous video. This is one of my most anticipated movies here. It has been since 2013. This movie has been in development since then. So when they brought in Andrew Dominic, who directed uh, Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford, it's a big title. Big title. Rookie. Exactly. Big yeah, title. Struggle and then it. Killing Me Softly. Those are two of my favorite movies of the past 20 years. I love those fucking movies. That's and then when they cast Anna de Armas, which they were going to do Name We Watched back in the day, now they're doing Anna de Armas. Um, I was like, that's weird because she's Cuban, she's got that thick Cuban accent. But from everything I saw, especially in that teaser trailer, and she looks exactly like Meryl Moreau. I know a lot of people are bitching about her accent in this trailer, so I don't know, Ricky. We have to keep our ears open to yeah. see if her accent's coming through. But so what? If you embody the character, I think that's all that matters. Yeah, my opinion is just whatever the majority of you think. I might have an honest opinion, guys. But yeah. Not on this one. Not me. I'll this is on this coming one. out to Netflix uh, next month in September and it's getting released on the awards circuit. I will say I am excited to see this, though. It did look good from the first teaser like it. trailer. It's not for simpletons. Oh. Miss Monroe, it's time. Looks exactly like her. Very much so. You get your start maybe what start in movies Fly continental but diamonds are a girl's best friend i guess i was discovered Men broke home oh, i love the tone they're going for know you're supposed to get used to it and we all lose our job I've played Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe. I can't face doing another scene with Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn doesn't exist. Got it, Ricky. Perfect argument, man. When I come out of my dressing room, I'm Norma Jean. I'm still hurt when the camera's rolling. Marilyn Monroe only exists on the screen. That's a, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trailer, I think, Ricky. First off, it's right up my fucking alley. The shots in this movie, the cinematography, the tone, the music, and everything, like the, the tragic story they're going for, which this is not going to be easy watch, man. This is going to be a tragic... Marilyn Monroe's story is a tragic one. Like, and then the CIA killer? Okay, there are some questions right there that JFK may have told her too much, and she was threatening him, maybe. There's all kinds of different theories hey, out man, there. That's what I happens. just go with the theory that she happens. was a very deeply disturbed and troubled woman that dealt a lot in her life, and she just had enough by the end of her life. I grew up loving Marilyn Monroe. I still, I, I read books about her. Like, I got calendars out there. This trailer is fucking amazing, though, because this is the type of shit. It reminds me of the tone he went for with the assassination of Justice James by the coward Robert Ford. Okay, you gotta watch that movie. It's probably my favorite western ever made. But let me art because I her accent's coming through. No yeah, a little about. bit, a little bit, yeah. But she's also got that Mel Moreau tone. Now this this is based off a book written back in the '90s. That's a fictional account of Mel Moreau. I mean it takes a lot of stuff from her life, but it's a fictional account. So I'm okay that they cast Anna de Armas, who looks like she embodies Mel Moreau. I felt like I was watching Mel Moreau as I was watching this trailer. They did an incredible job. I mean, even like without the makeup and all that, she does kind of resemble Mel Moreau. So I'm all about that. Were you bored with this trailer? No, I loved it. Unless you guys were bored with it. If you guys were bored with it, then I was too. But if you guys loved it, then I loved it as well. It, Playing it safe on this it's, one, man. It's also nice to see Adrian Brody having a role. Yeah, you yeah. You never see him see. anymore. Uh, Bobby Cannavelli, who I like uh, quite a bit. He's been, uh, he was in The Irishman, a great part in that. Yes, this 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 moved my, I was like here with it. If you guys could see me. Now I'm, I'm, I'm all the way to the sky. 
Holy this guy. Shit. Yeah, it's how high I cannot wait for this movie. I, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm a, I'm a pretentious douchebag, okay? This will make my top three list by the end of the year. I guarantee you. Regardless it? of how much he likes it. I, I'm like that type of dude that could watch Terrence Malick's movies over and over and over again because I just love that shit. Like, I like to go to sleep with him. Like, just listen to the beauty, this, the tone and all the atmosphere. Like, it, 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 Andrew Dominic's a fucking genius. If you're a single lady in the St. Louis area... Don't say where the hell we're at. I'm trying to get you laid. Well, they don't need to know what my situation is. Well, they're going to have to find you if you want to have sex with them or start a relationship with them. You're going to have to meet them. So they're probably going to have to come with to, to, to you because you don't have a car. I have a car. I know. I was just cock blocking. He's actually a really good guy, ladies. And he's one of those guys where you could put on a good movie that is, is, he's going to feel it. You That's know? all I want to do. Yeah, he wants to cuddle up next to you. I just want to watch movies all day. He wants to cuddle up next to you with a good movie on. And, and just I want to do you. what I want to do. Nothing sexual. I don't want to do he's not gonna anything touch that you guys want to do. Jesus he's not going to do anything. Christ. He's going to watch what his movie. What did you movie. just say? He's going to watch his movie. What did you That's just it. say? So if you're in the movies. And love making while uh, watching movies. That's one of my uh, favorite things to do. Some call it know. love making. Others call it spooning. Then let us know in the comments section. And we'll set you up on a blind date that we will record. Put on this YouTube channel. And then I will have an earpiece in Justin's ear. And I'll tell him everything to say. to do a vlog. A date, a, a date vlog? Yeah, a date vlog. Getting, it's called Getting Justin Laid. Dot, dot, dot. Finally. In large uh, letters. Hinchy, and I cannot wait till this video is over with because I might fucking. He, this might be the last time you guys see see Ricky. So go ahead, condolences, and put that in the comments it's as well. Fun. It's been a good ride for me. You know, I think you've made it much longer in your life than you thought you oh, would. Dude, yeah, He's this sure. close away from having a heart attack. Two seconds, probably right about now. Yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and end this video, you asshole. What? He doesn't like when I embarrass him in front of women, but you know he doesn't make a move ever, and I gotta fucking be the one to pull the punches for him. Uh, are you ready, to end it? Yeah. <laughs> If you're new here and you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, we appreciate you watching as always. Yeah. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, we appreciate you watching. Why do you go on and on? You, huh? said, you said everything you need to say, yeah. and you kept saying it. I know, it. I want to say yeah, it. Let us know in the comments. Is, are, are, am I stupid? Am I just a, being pretentious? Or is this trailer look freaking amazing? Yeah, you're not stupid. Pretentious, yes. Okay. Also, here's another video we did. Check it out right here. And uh, Justin's num phone okay. number is 314-877-4256. I like that though. Yeah, give out your number. No, I like the, the the seat lean. Oh yeah, I feel cool when I do it. I know you look cool when you do it. Okay, that might have saved your life. I don't know. Or this is the last time you guys saw him. Just trying to get you laid.